Welcome back to Resin Me Up. So, um, getting a late start. It's four o'clock here because I have been prepping a project today for today's project anyway. Uh, it's going to be quite a big project and I wanted to try to get a lot of the prepping done before I started recording um, because it's a big project and I didn't want to have to edit through hours and hours <laughs> of video plus it's just little stuff that I did so um, basically what you're looking at is a let me measure it here. I don't even think that'll even work. It's a round, a wooden round that I got from Hobby Lobby quite a few months ago uh, in prep for this. It says 15 inches round and the center is 13 and a half inches. When I got it, it was unfinished. And so what I did today was I painted the center in a sheepskin chalk paint. And then for the outside, I mixed up several colors. And the reason why is because I was trying to achieve this color. And so what I mixed together were I mixed wine, um, let's see what color is this, oh, rose gold, um, earth brown, true red, and a little bit of espresso bean and I got this color. I had to play with drops here, drops there, whatever and that's the color I got which is exactly what I wanted. And so the front and back is painted and then once that was dry I drilled a hole straight through and I UV resined a little the light pack battery pack for uh, and I UV resin that down and so currently what I'm doing is I'm going around and I'm UV resin these lights around here and so I'm just going to go around and I'm going to UV these down until I get them all the way down the way I want to and I'm using the let's resin high viscosity resin because it doesn't run so I'm just going to continue to do that So I'm going to go ahead and put you guys on pause. You see what I'm doing here and I'm going to finish this up and go ahead and get the bead of UV resin around this and then I'll come back to you. Okay? Alright guys, be right back. Okay y'all, we're back. Okay, so I got all of the lights in there. I have the edges completely sealed. So. Do you guys want to see? That's what the back looks like. Did I show you that already? Do you guys want to see what we're going to make? Are you ready? <laughs> okay. So, um, I was watching a video um, on 
Beverly's channel, Custom Created Crafts, one day, and she was trying to achieve the old milk glass effect. And this has nothing to do with her video at all. I'm not trying to achieve her effect or anything like that, but I was just watching her video and off to the uh, side of her video, she was using the, the flower mold, the, you know, the little flower mold to do her effect with. And she had off to the side of her, her table, she had three of those flowers already made and they were just sitting there. Well, how she had them sitting there just immediately popped an idea into my head. So Beverly, <laughs> this is your fault. <laughs> it's your fault, but it's not your fault. So, um, ever since I saw that video and how she had those flowers sitting there, I have been making flowers like non-stop. <laughs> it was just quite crazy because her video just had three of those flowers sitting off to the side and as soon as I seen that I'm like, oh my gosh, that's an idea. So I went to town and I made a bunch of these and so Basically, what I've done is I've just made a bunch of different colors. I've made green, red, yellow, um, some with mica powder, some with not. And so, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to put these in here, just like this. We're going to pour my, uh, resin in the bottom first, and we're going to arrange these. Just like this. Now every chance I got, I filled, I only have one mold. So every chance I got, I was filling that mold. And so I just filled it and filled it and filled it until I had enough to make this. And this is going to be the outer edge. Then, this is going to go in the center. Get it to go in there this time. Just like that. And then that's going to go in the middle. Just like that. And then, I've got some, I've got to go get some more because I don't have enough. Do you remember the leaves I used on my cutting board or my centerpiece? I'm going to go get some more of these and we're going to put these around the edge. I've only got three of them or four of them. And we're going to put those around the edge and then once it's done, and we'll put, we're going to put uh, resin on the edge of this too so that it's not, and then that's what it'll look like. Is that not cool? And you can hang it on your wall. It's a wall art piece for fall. That's what we're making today. I just thought it was a really cool idea and like I said it popped in my head when I seen Beverly she had three of these sitting on the side of her table and this is what I came up with. I gotta go get some more of these because um, obviously I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more of those and they did come one, two, three, four, five, six in a pack so I'm gonna have to pick up a couple packs of those. So yeah. 
So basically, I just have to mix up, uh, mix up resin, um, get it poured, and then we're going to set everything inside of the resin, and then it's going to cure. I will be back, and we'll get this completed. All right, guys. See you in a little while. Hi. Welcome back. I got my resin mixed up, and I'm just going to leave everything in here. I'm not going to take everything out. I'm just going to pour it all in here. And um, because basically I don't need to take everything out, I'm just going to pour pour the, the resin in here. And um, because it's not see through on the other side, so whatever sticks, you know, whatever the resin touches, it touches. And that's pretty much it. going to just mix up a few more ounces of this and then um, I'll go ahead and pour it in and then um, <clears throat> we'll come back when um, this is ready for the next step. I forgot I had a, a leaf mold. I dug that out and I made some leaves last night so we'll see what those look like around here versus going and buying um, those bigger leaves but if I don't think the little ones look good then I'll go get some of the bigger leaves so yeah all right guys we'll be back um, and see what needs to be done next all right guys see you in a little while bye hi everyone welcome back uh, before I get started, there's somebody here that wants to say hi. Hi guys. Guess who? It's Riley. You guys have missed me because I haven't been in like any videos lately. She came over to spend the day with me and she's been over here painting on a little project. We had to run to Hobby Lobby so I could get more leaves and uh, so we picked her up a little painting project so she's been painting while I've been getting this uh, part arranged Situated. so she wanted to say hello okay so um, this is the arrangement that I have for the leaves um, Riley thinks it looks spectacular so we're going to go with it. I've got my resin mixed up. I think I'm going to add a little bit of the Lightwish uh, Starry Red color into it to give it a little pizzazzy. So, and then we're going to go ahead and take these off and then we're going to pour it on and then set them all back on there. So, that way we have the resin all on there because I don't think I can pour it on there and then make sure that it's all covered correctly without having issues so um, I had an idea you guys instead of making this a wall hanging I got to thinking, what do you guys think? And Riley and I went hunting today and I totally forgot to look at one place. We did find some at Hobby Lobby, but they were bright gold and I don't know about bright gold. What do you think about these? Oh, I like that. 
putting lights in them and making this a centerpiece. I like that. That'd be cute. Yeah. So. They only but, had shiny. Gold. Yeah, they had bright, shiny gold ones for like weddings. And so I wanted to find some muted ones because I don't want to have to paint all of these. But I mean, I guess white would be okay too. I think that the matte gold would look better with these. I don't know about you guys, but in my opinion, I think the matte gold would look better. So that's an idea. And then I thought maybe a bigger pillar one for the center and then little ones out at the side. Like a, a bigger pillar, you know? Not a big pillar, but like, you know. An average size. One. Yeah. Not ones I probably will be able to like touch the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, not that big. So that's just the idea that I also came up with on this too, is that, you know, if you didn't want to make it a wall hanging, hanging you could make it a centerpiece as well. And it would be pretty centerpiece for your table, for your dining, you know, table your Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving dinner table. Or like lunch or whatever you're wanting to do. Yeah. It would be cute though, if you put like little like standing little holders and you could put salt and pepper out on them. True. Because then it would be like a salt and pepper full holder. Yeah, true. Put like the salt here and the pepper down here and then put lights around it. True. That's the first thing I thought of. Help her take these off of here. Put them over here on this side so I know which just it really doesn't really matter. I just have to remember that I gotta <coughs> Okay. That one's a little sticky. Yeah, I know. It's another mark. Okay guys, let's get some of this on here. fill in where it's not full. It's the only thing I can do because I can't really pour it. So I am going to go ahead and do this and I will be back after this is cured and we'll see what it looks like. All right guys, see you in a little while. Hi everyone, welcome back. Guess what's done? complete. I opted out of doing anything on the inside of this. Um, I have, um, Jennifer told me, she said, you know, sometimes less is more. And I have decided that, yes, you are correct. Sometimes less is more. Um, let me turn the light on here so you can see what it looks like with it now. So that's what it looks like. And if you wanted to put a candle in the center. I'm sure this is probably not this one's this one changes colors but if you wanted to put one candle in the center or if you wanted to put some in all of the candles I mean in all of the spaces you could but after I got to thinking about it if you had you know if you could find a medium sized pillar you know the ones that are thinner but a little bit taller. Um, I have some, but they're all in my decorations put away. Um, and I haven't gotten those out yet. But yeah, so I think it's gorgeous. And then if you took um, some uh, greenery and wrapped it around the edge of this on your table, you know, that I think that would be stunning. Just right in the dead center in the middle of your table be beautiful. What do you guys think? 
Let me bring you out just a little bit so you can see it the whole thing. Yeah. I think it turned out wonderful. Everything is cured and yeah, I like it. I mean, if you had like an island in your kitchen, giant island, um, you could put that on the island um, and have it sit there for decoration. I mean, there's lots of possibilities you could have for this. So I just wanted to come on and let everybody know that it's it's complete and finished. I do have some extras left over um, with the leftover resin. I made a couple pendants and that's what one of them looks like. I put in some brown uh, alcohol ink. I think it's called coffee and then the other one is latte and it had some of the the glitter in it from the background so that's what that looks like and I put a gold chain on it and then the other one I did a bigger one same process same colors and then I have a keychain I found um, over here that was sitting and hadn't been done yet so what I did was is I um, it was black and white and that was the design that was that had been in it so I took one of those open bezels and I put it on there and it the design in the center looked like waves to me so that's why I used this particular bezel and it has a star on it so I put some little holographic stars around there and I put a flower couple flowers with some uh, white little balls in there and then I put a, a shooting star on there with a black tassel so that is the keychain so that is it and um, so this project is complete and we're ready to move on to the next did you want to say anything Riley no, no? except for that looks really good did I like you? how it like flows good together. Yeah. Riley's still here. She spent the night with me last night, so. So yeah. Alright guys, well, that's um, it for me on this project and we'll move on to the next. So you guys know the routine. Um, if you like it, hit that like button and uh, definitely leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about it and as always, if you're not subscribed to the channel, I'd like for you to get subscribed because I'd like to get that number flipped around. And um, if you don't have your notifications on, guys, um, I've been hearing a, co a couple people tell me that uh, their notifications are on, but they're not getting um, notifications of my videos not sure what that's all about but just keep checking your notifications to make sure that they're on um, who knows it could be a YouTube issue I don't know um, I check my stuff all the time because you just never know I know Marva had a problem uploading her video um, last night so you just just gotta check your stuff all the time you just never know when something's gonna go wrong so Anywho, all right, everyone, have a great day. Tune in for tomorrow's video. Yep. All right, guys, bye.